everyone. How are you today? We are here for the third and final little short video about this journal cover. I am really loving the way this turned out. Um, I am so tempted to keep it, but I think I'm going to post it for sale in my Etsy shop. Um, so the link for that will be in the video description um, if you want to give this a new home. There is only one of them. I am not going to make two. I don't have any more of these covers to make more, so it's a one-off kind of a thing. Um, all right, so in the last video, um, we talked about attaching everything to the front cover. Now, if I had done this differently, and hindsight's always 2020, right? I would have actually put my elastics through the eyelet and done the inside part before I did this, but you know, because now it's kind of lumpy bumpy, but that's okay. Um, so we've got everything on the front cover. The glue is really dry. Don't try to put anything inside the cover until the ESAC 6000 really dries. You need to give it 12 to 24 hours to really cure completely. Um, that being said, I took our elastic that by accident matches and um, I cut a piece. Let me take some of this apart. Okay, I cut a piece. That's, you know, about, you know, it's a tight stretch across the spine and it's doubled. I made a loop and tied a knot. Can you see that? Whoops. So like that, right? Then I took what was left. Um, you want to do some measuring. I didn't do any measuring. I just cut off, whacked off a piece. So then I took another piece of the elastic and I ran it through both eyelets twice. So there's two here. And there's also two on the inside. And I tied it on the inside because I didn't want the knot on the outside. You could tie it on the outside and then put beads there. Okay, totally got interrupted. There was somebody at the front door. <laughs> and I don't remember where we left off, but I think we left off with the elastic. So you can see here that we have two on the inside, two on the outside. I tied them in a knot in the inside, I didn't want the knot on the outside. I remember saying that before. Um, I just basically ran it through one eyelet, up through the other eyelet, then did that again until I had the two cut ends in the middle and tied a knot. Like that. Um, and then I looked at it and thought, okay, that's cute. Oh, <laughs> now what am I gonna do? Um, and I realized that although they're a bit smaller than the cover, I have some of these little moleskin, these are actually moleskin cahier notebooks. Um, it, uh, these are just one of their basic mo uh, little notebooks. They come in different sizes. Um, craft paper cardstock cover with lined paper. These are great for not only, of course, writing and journaling because they're lined paper, but um, you could do daily sketches on them and that sort of thing too. Um, I love that. And I love the fact that they're a bit smaller than the cover because you could really put a lot of stuff sticking out the edges and it's still going to be protected by this cover uh, because they're a little smaller. Uh, let me zoom in just a little bit. I'm looking up at the camera. Okay. Um, I also liked the idea of, of having this be sort of a storage binder. So if you've been following me in my year 2017, um, then you know I've been doing my yearly journals in a Midori notebook and then um, at the end of each month, I take it out and put it in a storage binder. I don't carry like 12 months around with me um, when I'm doing journaling. My yearly journals, my, whether it's an art journal or I'm documenting my creative life or my life in general, they get too fat and chunky. And by the end of the year, it looks like this. And then I don't want to carry that around with me. That's just ridiculous. So it's much nicer. You can take one of these little moleskin Kaye notebooks. You can carry it around with you, have it on your art desk, work in it fill it up and then when it's full put it in here and then grab another one. I love that idea and you could just put two in here if you're if you work really chunky like me you could just do two. <laughs> um, but if you are just going to maybe do sketches or writing then you could put four or more and I'm going to show you how I did that. So I'm, I'm going to open the notebook to the center where I can see the stitching and I'm going to put my extra loop of elastic around that. Then I'm going to take another one and do the same thing. Open it to the center. You know, there we go. Some days are easier than others at finding that spot. And then I'm going to run it through. Hold on. 
Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm going to run it through the other end of the elastic so that you have these connected like this. Okay, then we're going to take these and we're going to run them under both pieces of elastic so that those extra two pieces of elastic are between the two notebooks. Yeah? Okay. Then I thought, I want maybe a few pockets, because what if I collect tickets or other little memorabilia I don't want to glue in? I want a little pocket or something to stick it in. So I took a piece of card, extra cardstock. I cut it to be um, double the cover of one of the notebooks, plus a little extra. Where's my ruler? Um, it's about a quarter of an inch of a spine. So I cut the paper. And then I scored this, I cut the paper to be, um, I, I cut a straight edge, and then I scored it at, was it three and a half inches? Then I scored it um, again at a quarter inch, then I scored it again at three and a half inches. Then I took my paper cutter and cut this other long side, right? And then I took my paper and I figured out how tall the notebook was, and I scored it at the bottom, I folded up the bottom and I created a pocket, taped it. I cut off the extra, there was an extra piece right here. I cut it off, taped that side too. And then I created, and I had this little pocket. It will fit around one of these notebooks. And that little bit of a spine on it gives it room for it to the notebook, for the notebook to sit in there comfortably, but also for it to grow a little bit. So then I'm going to take both the pockets and one of the notebooks, again, open up to the center stitching, take one of the uh, pieces of elastic and put it in the, in the middle of that. I have one more notebook I can squeeze in here. Again, open it to the center, grab that one unused piece of elastic that's still in there. There we go. And then I realized I want to add a couple more things. So I have two more of these little brass clips I used on the cover. I have some just plain tags. So I'm going to put some tags in here. I am going to sell this notebook. The tags could be used to um, glue extra things to, do extra journaling to, put pictures on, do little artwork on. Um, I'm going to put four tags in. I'm going to take one tag and I'm going to put it on the cover of one of the notebooks with one of these clips. And then I'm going to take another tag and put it on the other notebook with another clip. And that makes a really cute traveler's notebook. I love the thread sticking out. <laughs> just, I love that. Makes a really cute tra traveler's notebook holder or just notebook holder in general. You, of course, could work on it this way and use this as your journal. It would be a little lumpy and bumpy to write on. I don't think it's too bad. But the, the joy of having this in here on elastic cord is that you can just take these little notebooks uh, out, work on them, carry them in your handbag if you're going out of town or your travel art bag if you have one, um, and then when you fill it up, put it in here, grab a new one. And I love that. So that's it for right now uh, for this week for our little um, DIY traveler's notebook um, I shouldn't probably call it that. Our DIY uh, notebook journal cover thing. I don't know what to call it. I'll think of something by the time I air the video, I'm sure, and there'll be something in the title. Uh, that's it. If you're not part of my year 2017, which is what this video was created for, or our new group, which is coming out for 2018, which is called My Creative Year, and you would like to be, um, the links for both are in the description below. Now, the current group for 2017 will be closed and archived at the end of the year, um, and the new group will be the one that we all switch to. Um, we would love to see you over there for the free content, the camaraderie, support, uh, creative inspiration that we have going on. Uh, if you want to support the free content here on YouTube and over on Facebook, because it is all free, uh, then... I do have a tip jar link. It's in the video description and an Etsy shop. You can support me either way. Uh, check out the video description for Happy Mail address and all that other stuff, website and everything. And above all, go out and have a great day. Make yourself a little journal, uh, something that's changeable, something you can take things in and out of really easily, and use what you have laying around. That's it for today. Have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it, and I'll see you later. Bye, guys.